Hello guys, welcome back to SAP 2000 video tutorials. <coughs> In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to make <coughs> load combinations. <coughs> so I have opened SAP already and once I go to file, I'll select new model. In new model, I'll say grid only and I'll just have two two grids in X and Y direction and one grid in Z direction and you can see this distances right over here they are in feet so I'll have 10 feet of span <coughs> and this will be my origin I'll select OK so as you see I have a grid over here I'll just draw a simply supported beam and I'll show you how to make the load combinations so I'll use my draw frame or cable element which can also be obtained from draw menu once I go over here I'll select the grid point once I'm done, I'll select right mouse button. Now that I have drawn my frame element, I'll define first my materials. I already have one material in here, A992 grade 50 steel. I'll define a section property I'll import a new property I'll import a high section or W section ISC 14 I'll have W12 by 30. The properties of W12 by 30 are highlighted. Everything flange, web thickness, section properties, area, section modulus, radius of garrison, everything. Once you're done with that, you select OK. Then you have load patterns. So in here, you can oh, there is already a dead load pattern. You can add live load pattern. Live load. I'll say live self weight multiplier will be zero. I'll say add new load pattern. Then I'll have superimposed dead load, which is nothing but dead again I'll say add new load pattern I mean I can have even a wind load but we'll do it in later sessions so for now this is okay the next thing is load cases we already have dead model live and SDL load case will go to load combinations so in here you can add a new combination so let me show you how to add a new combination first and then we can see how can we ask the software to add the combinations based on code so I'll say one dead load plus one live load So to add select so this will be your factors. I'll select OK for this. Then I'll add another one which will be one point two 
dead load plus 1.6 live load over here I'll say 1.2 and make sure that it's dead add it and then going for live changing it to 1.6 I'll select add once I'm done with this I'll select OK so I have two load combinations already I can add one more which will be one dead load plus one live load plus one SDL it will be nothing but one dead load combination plus one live load combination plus one SDL combination I can do this way or I can add one dead load one live load and one SDL I'll select OK I'll add one more combination of just dead load plus SDL dead load plus SDL I'll say dead add and then I'll add one SDL now that I have all my load combinations over here I'll select OK <coughs> so the next one next step is as you know we'll just select the frame and we'll go to assign we'll assign our section frame section nothing but W12 by 30 select OK W12 by 30 is already assigned to it we can come to 3D view and go to set display options make sure extruded view is turned on so that we can see our member coming over here you will select your end node point go to assign you select joint restaurants pin you can see pinned over here then you select again roller support on the other end roller select ok you can see roller support over there in green color once that is done you need to assign the loads select the frame go to frame loads select point so you distributed I'll say live load in gravity direction and I'll make sure it's like 5 caps and once I go to 3D view I'll, if I turn off the extruded view yeah over there I see 5 kips load but since I need it in the center what I'll do is I'll go to assign I'll say frame loads point load you see there's 5 over here I'll say that as 0 and I'll put a distance of 0 0.5 and put five caps in the middle so what this will do is like from from 0 to 1 it is the length of the beam so 0 0.5 will be the center and 0 0.75 will be the three quarter so at 0 0.5 I'm putting five caps load I'll select OK so as you see it's in the center right now again I'll select the frame I'll assign 
distributed loads and dead load will be 200 PLF I'll select OK so right now it's showing just the live load as you can see over here live as defined then I'll select the frame load again I'll go to assign frame loads distributed I'll select my load pattern as a DL and make sure that my superimposed dead load is with whatever I require in this case I'm putting 400 PLF select OK now I select the three this window and I'll select uh, frame loads I'll make sure to see SDL select OK so you can see your SDL 400 PLF now once you're done assigning your loads you just need to analyze the structure or beam I'll select run analysis and this will be the load patterns or ca load cases that will be running so I'll select run now before that I need to save it I'll say load combinations I'll select save so you can see your deformed shape in here and you can choose your combination for whichever you want for whichever combination you want to see the deflection So if you move over to joint you can see the deflection let me go to XZ and next I'll see frames I'll see the stresses, shear stress 2 to show values on the diagram, select OK. So those are my shear stresses. And then I'll go for moments. There you go, my moment diagram. And this is just for the load case one dead load plus one live load if I select one dead load live load and SDL it will be different see the value got increased so you can see your different load combination cases results in here so this way you can uh, have different load combinations and analyze your structure thank you for watching the video